Before we get into this video, I want to remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers and we're getting really close, guys. I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment down below letting me know what you're most excited about with Tears of the Kingdom. Hey, if we happen to get there before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we'll just go ahead and give away a collector's edition of the game. And, you know, let's throw in a Zelda Switch OLED for fun, shall we? That being said, look, the excitement levels over Tears of the Kingdom are unfathomable, right? Yes, the criticism seems pretty loud right now. We're hearing the people who dislike the game having their 15 seconds of fame, right? They're, they're shouting from the mountaintops to anyone that will hear it, and negativity tends to stand out more than positivity, and thus they are getting their time to shine. But you know what the counter to all of it is? People actually buying the damn game. Ever since the Tuesday gameplay reveal, oh my gosh, has Tears of the Kingdom sales exploded. In fact, they have exploded so much that the Nintendo Switch sales are already starting to turn around. What are we talking about? Let's get into it. You see, first we got to talk about the Nintendo Switch sales. Like, let's just... Talk about that in general, right? We we don't get sales updated numbers, you know, very often when it comes to specific territories like North America. It's once it's once a month, uh, you know, in in out in the UK we do get some weekly reports, usually not with exact numbers. In Japan, however, the PlayStation Five has actually been beating out the Switch for like six weeks. It's been pretty consistent. But see, last week that wasn't the case. Uh, the Nintendo Switch, despite only having five of the top 10 selling games, and they did not have anything in the top three, it was two different versions of Resident Evil 4 for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. What's interesting is the hardware sales are back in the Switch's favor. The Switch OLED model was the number one selling model at 36,604 units, just beating out the base PlayStation 5. But that number three is the Switch, and at number four is the Switch Lite before we get to number five with the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. This naturally means the Switch actually had a pretty decent margin of victory here, hopping over 50,000 units last week now why are the sales of switch increasing when there isn't a whole lot of big name things coming out the biggest was altier rise of three alchemist of the end of the secret key and yeah that game sold best on switch but i mean the playstation 4 playstation 5 version did pretty good as well in fact the combined sales actually outsold the nintendo switch version so why is switch really climbing well we need to explore things deeper when we look at available sales data, and I know Amazon isn't the be-all, end-all. It does show some trends. It's kind of crazy. Right now in, in Japan, the uh, Tears of the Kingdom Pro Controller, the Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED, and Tears of the Kingdom itself are the three best-selling things in all of Japan, like for video games. Okay, that's insane. But it's even more insane here when you just look at North America and our local Amazon best-selling charts. Well, the controller isn't up there. The damn Zelda Switch OLED is outpacing, you know, within the last week, the actual Tears of the Kingdom. But both of them are the top-selling video game things that aren't digital eShop cards. This, to me, is insane. Watching the fervor for Tears of the Kingdom, it is setting records at every turn right now. Now, I don't know that it's going to be the fastest selling Nintendo game ever. That technically belongs right now to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which sold 10 million in three days. Can Tears of the Kingdom sell 10 million in three days? I don't want to say it's impossible. Uh, we know within like the first six weeks, Pokemon did about 20 million. I think we're looking more along 15 to 18 million for Tears of the Kingdom, but is it impossible to think, you know, coming off a game that sold 30 million with a bigger install base and the hype being driven and the strange marketing that seems to be more based on people like me talking about the game than Nintendo seems to be working? Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom might indeed blow up and end up becoming a 10 million, 11, 12 million seller at launch which would set a record. And I'm not making that as my official prediction yet. I need to see the full marketing cycle heading to the launch before I can be like, look, I obviously have a bias and an affinity for Zelda. I would like to see it outperform Scarlet and Violet. 
Scarlet and Violet, by the way, I actually do enjoy those games, but, you know, the critical reception wasn't great. It would be nice if the fastest-selling Nintendo game ever was also one of the most highly critically acclaimed games ever, and I do think Tears of the Kingdom has a shot at that. I don't I don't know if it can hit that 97 that Breath of the Wild had. I, I would love to see it happen. I mean, does it hit the fabled 98? Nothing gets that high anymore. 97 is really where things seem to top out in modern gaming reviews. There's just too many people reviewing, too many reviews that count. You're always going to have outlets being counted that just don't like Nintendo games, but I, I'm just blown away by the fervor in this game. Look, uh, when, as I say here as a content creator, and I cover all of Nintendo, right? I was trying to find a reason to cover these OLED sales uh, in Japan, and I realized that the reason to cover it is Zelda, but it, it's, 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 it's a weird way. Like, why is Zelda the reason to cover it? It's because Zelda is what everyone cares about right now. It is the most desired game in Famitsu Magazine. It won the most anticipated game at the Game Awards last year. It won another anticipation award at the Game Developers Conference. The Years of the Kingdom literally is that game everyone just wants to play. Game developers, as we, as we did today in my video, shout out to Player Essence one more time for drawing attention to it, is literally being praised so hard by fellow AAA game developers that they're sort of embarrassed at their own creations because what Nintendo is doing from a creativity standpoint, from a programming standpoint, from an execution of that creativity standpoint is just like leagues beyond so many others. And while we don't have the game in our hands, we're obviously of belief that they're doing this with a relatively bug-free game. Now, we're basing this on what happened with Breath of the Wild. Clearly, Tears of the Kingdom is in our hands, and we can't say that it's a relatively bug-free game at this time. That's more reliant on Nintendo's track record than actual facts we can know. But, man, it's hard not to have that sort of faith in the Zelda team with six years of development. Looks like it was supposed to come out last year. Got delayed, so it, it seems anyways, based on the June firmware on the Zelda OLED editions, and okay, yeah, it feels like it probably was supposed to be last year. Look, guys, I am just stupidly excited, and well, I'm even more excited that because of the delay, there are so many Zelda OLEDs in existence that scalpers continue to just be wrecked. I think we all can take a little bit of pleasure out of the fact that, you know, thousands of scalpers attempted to buy up a bunch of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom OLEDs to scalp them on eBay, um, how's that working out when we can still pre-order the damn thing in every retail outlet in the United States? Like, I don't know what it's like in other territories, but around here, yeah, it ain't that hard to get it. I can still walk into Walmart and Best Buy locally and online and get pre-orders in. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty hilarious, uh, watching that happen. But anyways, a lot of that happened because it was clearly meant to be last year. Nintendo had more time to make more systems. And yeah, obviously the demand for the systems isn't meeting the supply because Nintendo thinks they'll be able to sell these systems all year long. Eventually, they're going to stop manufacturing them. In fact, they might have already stopped manufacturing them, seeing them not sell out. But yeah, the, I mean, all the Zelda editions are going to be sold by the end of the year. That's that's pretty obvious. Uh, we've seen this with Animal Crossing and other editions as well, right? Like they've done reruns and reprints, and they seem really, really stocked for a while. Now, hey, you can't really find them much anymore because they do eventually sell out. So I'm not worried about them making so many Zelda collector's editions, or I guess not collector's editions, but so many, oh God, we wish they made that many, so many Zelda OLED editions that, you know, they're not going to sell them. I don't think that's a worry. There's going to be a lot of trickle-down sales of this game for the rest of the year that will lead to people probably wanting to go and pick up that OLED. But man, I'm just, <laughs> I'm blown away, guys. Like the gameplay, the fervor, the interest, and now I'm ready for what's next. Like, drop some screenshots, man. Drop some screen. At this point, brand new screenshots dropped by Nintendo would be breaking news because we just, we just want the game to be here. But until then, I just want to see little snippets. I just want to see more. I know I personally don't need to see more to sell me on the game, but I didn't even need to see the gameplay to sell me on the game. Just my faith in Nintendo was enough. And call that crazy. Call me a shill for it. I'm a Nintendo content creator. I have an admitted bias for Nintendo. I mean, I just do. I do play PlayStation and Xbox and PC. Heck, I've been gaming on Mac lately, but uh, the, the just yeah, Nintendo is still still near and dear to my heart, and the Zelda games in particular, uh, Mario as well. Like th those are those are my jams. Metroid. I mean, just I don't know. I'm even excited for Pikmin Four, guys. I let's go. Catch you guys in the next video. <laughs>